Well, additive manufacturing has progressed uh, from being a really basic process back in the late 1980s. It's uh, really now we're seeing parts flying on aircraft. Uh, there's more than uh, 20,000 implants in, in people today. Uh, more than 10,000 dental copings that become crowns and bridges are being uh, produced every day of the week. And, and so it's really a, a, a very serious method of manufacturing today. Additive manufacturing for BMW is currently a very well established technology in some sectors. Designers at BMW still really like to work with their hands. They love uh, working with clay and, and, and 2D drawing. We see models that won't be on the street for, for four or five years. Uh, and then our parts mostly serve to uh, help in the decision making process, uh, where two or three uh, models are presented and the executive board needs to make a decision. So for that, the parts look perfect. They look like what you would see on the street. And that's where we come in. Well, there's tens of thousands of flight hardware parts in operation currently uh, within Boeing. Um, but they all share a common theme in the fact that uh, each one of these programs need parts quickly. In their hands, in a matter of days, not a matter of months. Researchers at universities are, are a critical element to Boeing research and technology. Um, simply because, you know, they're, they're at the very forefront of where the technology could go in the future. These universities provide an idea and then um, Boeing will take that idea, internalize it, and then spit it back out in funding form. And so then you, you, you get a project. And so, uh, you know, it's kind of an incubator with, um, you know, brilliant professors and uh, brilliant students as well. At the University of Sheffield, we're often uh, approached by companies who have a specific challenge or opportunity that they wish to pursue, and we work with them to really help them get to grips with the best way to take this technology forward and to deliver their best financial outcome. Additive manufacturing is actually a range of different technologies, all of which are used to create parts in a layer-by-layer -layer manner. The processes all start with a three-dimensional CAD model. Then what we can do is we actually slice that file into lots of very thin different layers. Each of those layers is then sent to a machine, where the part is made. One of the beauties of additive manufacturing technology is the wide range of sectors that it serves. This ranges from, for example, aerospace industry, medical industry, Formula One, to consumer products. And we're always looking for new opportunities. Well, a company often doesn't have the, the resources uh, or the, uh, uh, the ability to, to take uh, an idea with the risk involved and so they can go to a university like the University of Sheffield and and explore ideas and work together to help reduce that risk so that the uh, company uh, doesn't have to shoulder the entire burden. So at the University of Sheffield we're working with cutting-edge technologies across a number of different disciplines and helping a number of different companies to develop new materials for example or to find new ways of making their products. Materialize is a Belgian company. We are active in additive manufacturing in three fields, in the medical field, in the industrial field, and in the consumer field. Universities are, are, I think, ideally placed here. They Not only do they have, let's say, the means to do uh, the characterization of, of materials, but also uh, those uh, research institutes are more neutral, uh, more objective in this kind of um, uh, studies. One of the challenges when we uh, talk about additive manufacturing of end-use components is how the components will perform over time. Here, the data are not really existing. Characterizing materials is something that is taking quite some time and it's, it's also requiring an expertise that companies like Materialize don't have in-house. That's where we uh, like to work with universities like the University of Sheffield, where we have people uh, who have the expertise on uh, running uh, the, the tests. As the technology grows, as the part properties improve, I see tremendous growth over the next couple of years. Uh, and as the components get good enough, I plan or we hope to see parts in our vehicles. Our relationship with, with Sheffield University is just starting. Uh, we can see it develop on a number of different levels. I could imagine that a number of components are manufactured in this way uh, in the long term. Additive manufacturing is going to help us develop cars more efficiently and better, and the cars are ultimately going to get better, possibly more fuel efficient. 
we see an, an, an growing need uh, in our customer base for more variety of materials. And uh, that is where we, we, we look for collaboration. So what we uh, appreciate in the, the knowledge that is existing at the Sheffield University is the, on the one hand the knowledge of processes and not just from a theoretical point of view but also how these processes fit in an, an, uh, a professional environment. Additive manufacturing at the University of Sheffield um, can also contribute greatly to the, to the Boeing cost. Personally I would like to see the, the technology grow and grow into a point where um, it just becomes, you know, almost commonplace. You can buy one of these machines, you can drop it in a remote location, and that you can generate parts with high accuracy. We're now able to make geometries that simply aren't possible through other manufacturing processes. And the time that it takes to make a part from a design is very, very quick. A process that had previously maybe taken a number of weeks to go from a design to a part can now be achieved in only a matter of hours. Trying to predict the future of additive manufacturing is sometimes a dangerous thing to do because the opportunities are so broad and so profound. And I suspect that as we go on, that these technologies will be used far more for manufacturing a final product than for prototypes.